in order to import audio and to render uh, an animation with audio we need to know a couple of things so I'm gonna show you those real quick first thing is to import audio so we need to find some audio somewhere we need to get it saved to our files and that way we can import it into blender so if you have done that found an audio file um, an audio clip what you'll need to do is come to this uh, view right here and go from the 3d view to the video sequence editor and we can just uh, insert the audio clip right here on the timeline. So what you need to do is go to this add button. If you don't have the this menu right here, you might need to click this little plus button right here. So click the plus, go to add and sound, and here you need to find in your files your sound, your um, sound clip. Double click on it and it just inserts it right in there. Uh, to move it around, hit G and that you can place it on a certain um, frame to start it. So I'll just put it on frame one. Now I can change my view back to 3D view and I've got my audio in there. If I play it, plays my audio. I've got my dancing Jonesy. Um, now to export it, once you're done uh, animating it, of course, and putting all your keyframes in, to animate it, we come to the render tab in our options and before we hit animation because as soon as we do that it's going to start saving it as it uh, renders it so come down to the options uh, select instead of AVI JPEG which we're used to doing we're going to select this H264 to get an audio format now right below in the encoding section we need to change a couple of things as well so here on under format um, uh, instead of AVI, we're going to just go MPEG-4. It's just a compressed version. It'll be a smaller file size. So change that to MPEG-4. And then down here under Audio Codec, we're going to change that to AAC for audio. Okay, so as long as you have those changes there, then of course you need to pick a file location that it will save to. And when you've got that all set up, then you can hit the animation button. It will render and save to that file location, and it will have the audio in it.